Hey there, this is Andrew Greer with the Bring the Wood podcast. This is the first podcast uh, ever done by myself, so this could be a little rough. Um, Hopefully you're going back to this several years down the road and catching up on some of the terrible ones as we've built up the quality, but this podcast itself is going to be about investing. Um, I'm going to be telling a lot of my stories be telling a lot of stories with some other investors I know um, and reaching out to people across the country to tell their stories so we can get to you, teach you about investing, and show you what it's like. So if you are interested in being on the podcast or connecting me with somebody, feel free to reach out. Uh, all the contact information will be below, um, and you can always contact me at investwithandrew at no, nope, just investwithandrew.com contact page. Sorry about that. Like I said, first podcast. So today I wanted to jump in and really tell um, my story about how I got into the business, how it started uh, for anybody that's looking into getting in the business or is, you know, wanting to powwow over uh, how they got into it. So myself, it was about a decade ago, um, and I'm going to go back even a further step than I was thinking Um and just over a decade ago, I was uh, wrapping up college. Um, I'd actually been out of school, been a stockbroker, market crashed, um, and decided I wanted to go back to school. So I went back to school, became a bartender, and then uh, got into uh, real estate as I was uh, getting towards graduation. I was in a labor economics class, did a few diagrams, and I was like, hey, you know what? It looks like real estate is going to be what's good for me. Um, And uh, coming from the investment world, I wanted to work with hard assets, assets you could walk up to, tap on, kick, touch, feel, know were real. So I decided to go into real estate. So I reached out and uh, found some people in my network that were in the business and connected with them and actually did an internship for a short period of time with a local house flipper. Um, Wasn't too happy with that internship. Um, that can happen sometimes. And, uh, as I graduated, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go on my own. If they can do it, I can do it. And, uh, teamed up with another uh, bartender I was working with and we went from there and started, uh, looking for properties. So the struggle was real when we first started. Um, we ended up for probably six months. Yeah, it was about six months. Um, working with realtors, uh, going on Craigslist and calling for sale by owners, looking for expireds, um, going out door knocking on the uh, foreclosure radar was huge back then, um, pulling those lists, and then just giving our card to people everywhere we went, trying to uh, build those relationships with people and connect as much as we could. So I remember it was towards the end of May, uh, we actually had a call, and it was a guy that we had met at 7-Eleven, gave him our business card, and he was reaching out because he needed to sell his home. And uh, we'd met him here in San Diego, actually down Chula Vista at a 7-Eleven, and given him our card, and he decided to reach out and connect with us um, via this phone call to sell a house in La Puente. Well, we were excited, so we uh, set up a time with him and headed up there uh, within a couple days and went up and took a look at the home really gnarly home, was pretty messed up, um, had to do some work to it structurally, all sorts of stuff, had to bring in, you know, a foundation team to actually do some work and a bunch of other stuff, but we ended up going through the whole whole process. I'm going to shorten this down quite a bit. We started at 90,000, had a contract, then he decided not to move forward, ended up at 115, and we go in and we actually close on the house. Um, And as we... Uh, we're looking to finance it. Uh, part of the thing was I, I had been told by my buddy in the bar, like, hey, if we uh, if we do this, we can definitely get the money. We don't even worry about it. So um, I got it under contract, and we did it with a $100 EMD. Uh, we didn't even know what an EMD was at that time. We actually took the contract physically to escrow, uh, dropped it off, and my uh, partner at the time dropped it off. And he called me and goes, hey, like, uh, we don't have an EMD on here. And they said, we need one uh, to secure it. And I said, all right, well, just put it down as a hundred bucks. Um, so we put in a hundred bucks as an EMD and uh, I actually borrowed the 50 bucks from him. Uh, when he got to the uh, bar that night, I said, hey man, I'll give you the 50 bucks when we close. 
uh, plus interest, and he uh, he accepted that. So I did my first deal with borrowing fifty dollars. So at that point in time, uh, we went out, and uh, the next morning I said, "Hey, so where do we get the money?" So we had sent an all cash offer. Um, he had told me that we could go to these hard money lenders. I have really no idea at this point in time. So we uh, go out, we start calling hard money lenders, start talking to people, and it turns out, you know, we, we need some down payment money, we need all sorts of stuff, we need better credit, that was not where we were at at that point in time. So I said, hey man, like I thought you said we had this covered. He said, no, it, look, it looks like we need to have some cash. And I was like, well, we need, you know, like forty, fifty thousand dollars by the time we're done paying interest, getting this through, everything. And he's like, all right, um, let's reach out to some REI groups. And I just said, you know what, let me go back to my old Rolodex from when I was a stockbroker call around, see if anybody is interested in investing with us and go from there. Made uh, about five calls, got three appointments and had one set up for the next morning at 5.30 a.m. Uh, one thing led to another and that is my current partner um, in business who uh, sat down in that meeting with us and he determined that he wanted to do a partnership three ways, each of us owning a third and starting going after uh, investment properties. Teamed up with us, we started buying flips, he became our uh, cash partner, and since then, we've just gone forward and that's what we've done. So, really exciting there, we uh, you know, we ran into that roadblock, but we just picked up the phone, started calling, started working on solutions, and that really got us to that next level. So, what I wanted to get to on this, and we'll cover it even more uh, in the future, is that when I went to the property, with the project manager we brought on for an hourly rate. Uh, we walked in the house, they were demoing it, and uh, he looked at me and he goes, we already closed on this home? And I said, yeah, I've already closed. And uh, he goes, you're gonna lose so much money. I can't believe that you bought this. You're gonna lose so much money. And I remember for about 15 minutes, I was just disgusted. I just felt so gross. I just leveraged more money than I'd ever made. Um, I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I was trying my best. Um, pieced it together from you know conversations, YouTube, all sorts of stuff, trying to just make it happen. And uh, I just felt sick. And uh, it took me about 15 minutes and then I realized, I said, wait a second, he doesn't know what I bought this house for. He doesn't know what my budget is. And he doesn't know what it's going to sell for. So how does he know I lost money? And um, long story short, when it all was said and done, we ended up uh, netting over sixty thousand dollars on that property. We bought it for one fifteen. We sold it for two fifty. Um, we wasted a ton of money. We had a terrible escrow. We had a cancellation day of close because I didn't know what contingencies were because we were for sale by owner. So we hadn't released contingencies, and they canceled on the last day. But in the end, we worked our way through it. So what I, what I want to get to here is you have to get in, you have to start, and you have to be willing to overcome a lot of these pitfalls in the beginning. Um, you can do your research, you can watch YouTube videos, you can get mentors, all that stuff. But you got to be ready to adapt, move forward, and conquer. So I'm going to be covering more on this uh, on my next episode. Uh, I'm trying to keep these podcasts short up front so I can keep a little bit of energy and see how they go. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing these Monday through Friday. I'm gonna be covering different topics, and tomorrow I will go over how I was down to my last $17 of credit when I closed that deal, and we'd already bought other properties. So thank you for tuning in. As always, you can catch me on Facebook at Andrew Thomas Greer. You can also catch me on Instagram at The Realty Entrepreneur. That's my handle. And you can always reach out at investwithandrew.com to connect with me. See you next time.